Hello, greetings. Oh, you cunning Christians, Rob Christian. Christian Prince on YouTube, now it's Rob Christian. We love you and we care. Yeah, I know, I know you Christians. I've seen how you love us. That's why Obama said, come down from your high horses. If I was a Shia Muslim right now, I wouldn't be able to talk like this against you Muslims, uh, Christians. Just because some extremist Shia, uh, Sunnis who have also been killing Shias since God knows when, And an Iranian uh, Shia leader had uh, massacred Sunni Muslims. That I condemned. Bring all your cards open on the table. Make it clear. Okay, don't be so dishonest, deceptively dishonest with us. Not saying anything to Hisham, Malik. Getting at me because I said that, no, that's not true, entirely true, that Muslims or this Islam, sorry, I for, keep forgetting, I'm not going to go on his live now and check in, the, in his opening statement. Rob Christian has said that uh, we love these, uh, these Muslims, but they hate us. Talk about those who hate you, not about the Shia Muslims, firstly. Another thing is that there is a verse in this Quran, in Surah, F uh, yeah, Surah Fusilat. We were told John, uh, a Christian named John, gave his life for Imam Hussein. And we were told that Bibi Fatima the Zahra, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad gave her Abba, her Abba to Abaya to a Christian man and even went to a, uh, sorry, a Jewish man. So we learned a balance, not to hurt those Jews unnecessarily going and massacring and killing. And I don't represent that Shia leader who massacred the Sunni minorities in Iran. Okay, speak properly. Speak precisely. Getting carried away like that. Using the Sunni hadiths and what the extremists now are doing. Terrorists killing Christians. That my prayers with those Christians who were killed and their family members. My condolences heartfelt. But, you know, I'm not like uh, you. Uh, for Shia's uh, killings, you should have regard. You should cover everything if you care so much. No, no, you don't stand for the Shias. I've been caught in this uh, terrible thing against uh, filthy idols Muhammad was worshipping. For you, they may be filthy. What about hurting those feelings? Maybe Hinduism is true. Maybe you are not a true, uh, you are a cult yourself. This new cult has come out on YouTube. How they speak and how they, even I, uh, Sunni Muslims from those, uh, some terrorists from uh, Sunni Muslims, even I like got, uh, get, a Christian prince, sometimes when he talks or Rob Christian. No, no, it does not. This You don't represent the majority of Muslims. Be careful what comes out of your mouth like that. You be careful, okay? Don't, don't threaten me. I was just correcting you and I know your likes. I know how you missionaries work now as a cult. 
excuse me uh, it's going to be a very long uh, video I'll have to make right now I have pain on my side I can't speak properly either so I'm searching for that verse those who believe in Allah no no Allah does not hate okay our Imam Sajjad what was he his sacrifices we were told in our Shia texts from our Shia texts however true or what we heard from in our madlises Maharam Safar madlises two months and we I'm going to check all that and see what uh, Imam Sajjad did how he treated his enemy his father's butcherer who beheaded his father when his father had prostrated on the burning sands of Karbala calling me a joker and all this I think it's a cult that has come out so uh, my Shias uh, I my sentiments with those Shias Shaheed uh, being killed were being killed so much in Pakistan that it became a genocide we had to have security guards around our processions religious processions and even then they would come in and uh, our Imam Bargas our mosques our Imam Bargas holy places when uh, during Maharam during Ramadan now in uh, Islamic Republic of Pakistan I was there living there no regard for that huh? uh, don't rep you don't represent all the Muslims you are not a voice for all the Muslims and stop distorting the Quran like the Quran says you Christians will do correctly see uh, you have taken this Quran in a wrong way maybe Obama should have put you in your right place if you are in the United States of America so here I am coming to this verse I'm trying to search for it yes here it is uh, it starts let me tell you those who did we were told those uh, verse 29 of 41st chapter of the Quran 41 chapter of the Quran Surah Fusilat it's also called Hamim Sajda uh, verse 29 and those who disbelieve will say our Lord show us those who led us astray from among the jinn and the men that we may trample down, uh, them under our feet those who disbelieve and oh this reminder that someone said that uh, this willer on Rob Christian telling me I'm a former Shia what about jinns and all that so I said in your in your Bible the uh, spirits possession and all this how can you as a Christian ask me about jinns and laugh about jinns when in your own Bible Christ was uh, exercising in his name and in his father's name and then he took the, those spirits demons out of I was ready for this answer <laughs> he took those uh, spirits and demons out of the man or some boy and uh, didn't have a place for the spirit to send them to the spirit world put it on the swines and the swines went down and drowned in the river or lake or some place so much for kindness for of animals so much for animal kindness so when uh, you make fun of uh, me my former religion it's my former religion now what about jinns your Christ exercises and spirits possessed people and all this then when I answer you back what do you have to do what do I have to do with jinns now but you yourself believe I have something to do with the spirits possession and all that but jinns 
Willer asked me on Rob Christian's uh, live stream, right now it was going on, what about jinns? Laugh at your own Jesus Christ then and his deeds. Understand? We don't, we're not allowed to mock uh, Jesus Christ as a, a Shia a Muslim. Here. As for those who say our Lord is Allah, then continue in the right way, right way, moral and all this. The angels descend upon them, saying, Fear not, nor be grieved, and receive good news of the garden which you were promised. Verse 31, We are your guardians in this world's life and in the hereafter, and you shall have therein what your souls desire, and you shall have therein what you ask for. Verse 33, And who speaks better than he who calls to Allah while he himself does good and says, I'm surely of those who submit. Who calls to Allah while he himself does good. Are you doing good? Are you insulting the way you bully people? It definitely doesn't seem like any good coming out of you. Uh, verse, uh, this Rob Christian and all, on YouTube. Why are you hiding these verses and you're not representing Shia Islam, Shia Muslims? You're hiding these verses in the Quran. Verse 34, and not alike are the good and the evil. Repel evil with what is best. That doesn't mean to kill them. When lo, he between whom and you was enmity would be as if he were a warm friend. Uh, Ali commentary, there's no equality. This is my Shia commentary. See, the Quran guides the believers by parables and figurative expressions. The Ahl al-Bayt are goodness incarnate. Their enemies who persecuted and killed not only them but their followers and devotees symbolize evil. There is no equality or comparison between them. We remain patient. When uh, you say Jesus Christ, uh, Imam Sajjad was ill, why did God... He couldn't fight with those who wanted to fight against his father and took the... This is our text. These are our Shia sources. First Imam Hussain gave sacrifices and then last he gave his life to save Yazid's army, to bring the truth to the proper place. So many books, I mean, there's so many books on Imam Ali, a Christian has written, George Jordak. The, he, could, he could not take it from Jesus Christ. Human Rights Declaration or something. I will show you that book later. You do not, you're hiding these good verses and you're saying only us Christians are the best. He who speaks a good word, good and not alike, see, and who speaks better than he who calls to Allah while he himself does good. It's not just calling to Jesus Christ or to Allah without doing good and says, I'm surely of those who submit. I submit to the will of Allah, to the will of the Most High, Ali, Most High. Your New Testament has Most High. I can go on about that. Where does your New Testament say Yahweh? There's a big difference between your Old Testament and your New Testament. Even the God, even Yahweh, 
let's see if Jesus Christ has that you say that in the Quran this is this is not a, a religion this is not an Abrahamic religion because it does not have Yahweh did Jesus Christ say Yahweh let me see I will check that also that's a good point you bullies you are bullies and not alike are the good and the evil meaning when you have good that I felt it's good conduct goodness mercy compassion because our Rasulullah is a Rasulullah of mercy is the beloved of Allah so uh, these good verses are provision from the forgiving the merciful you hide if it doesn't go with you you shouldn't hide these Muslims not all Muslims hate we are also taught to love because God sent us the most beloved his most beloved of messengers look at the good side of Islam you're just representing looking at these terrorists they've killed so many of my Shias and uh, asking me such questions about jinns and this and you fill Haroa, what's his name, moderator you better be careful you don't give people the freedom of right to choose you're imposing your religion on others our Bibi Fatma is Zahra uh, Prophet Muhammad's daughter here so here there is this uh, peace reconcile always with goodness call them with goodness not by the sword he who takes up the sword against you then you take up the sword against him that's what we were told in Islam either mobile or Shia we never took the sword Rasulullah how did Rasulullah go to have a discussion with the Christians of uh, Najran what are you people saying distorting the whole religion have some few uh, due respect and say properly hiding things and showing how great your religion your thing is you bullies covert narcissists insulting people attacking people their personal personally attacking them when I'm a former Shia Muslim no but you in the in your opening statement drop Christian I'm going to catch you Christian bullies liars you cult new Christian devil cult I'm going to continue later